I thought I'd share some of my experiences of this past week in the public elementary school. I love being with the children. It gives me a chance to get all this information I've acquired over these 60 plus years and get it into the, the future generation. And um, it's nice for them to have someone to listen to them. The teachers are in a big hurry, of course. They have a lot of responsibility. And um, I'm there translating Spanish to English and English to Spanish with the students. And um, the ones who have trouble reading, you know, I'm helping them learn how to read, sound out the words. You know, we go in a little room next to the classroom, you know, and uh, they could see us through there. There's windows everywhere. And, you know, they tell me other things, and I try to encourage them. I try to tell them, you know, quick little jokes or anecdotes from my time long ago in elementary school. And, um, you know, a lot of them, it looks like they, you know, don't have such happy lives or having problems at home. And I think it's nice for them to have someone who cares and who listens. So, but they say funny things, very funny things. Um, they use Chromebooks in the school. Some kids are still at home, you know, working online. And uh, that's really difficult for the teacher. She's, she's sitting in front of this, this big screen on the wall and there's little squares all over it with uh, live, uh, the, the children's faces. And uh, she also has to look in front of her what answers they're typing in. And also they can speak. She can mute them when she's speaking and, and teaching. She can show them different things on the screen from her screen. And, uh, you know, sometimes they're <laughs> the ones that are at home, they're doing funny things like, um, you know, they have this candy bar while they're listening to teacher and then they're just enjoying it and then licking it and... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, other times they're making faces, so like, so the other kids will look at them. You know, they're making faces on the screen, and the teacher has to tell them stop that now. So uh, I'm supposed to be learning how to do that. Sit at the computer, and they're on their Chromebooks. By the way, some of them are not at home. They're on their you know little Chromebooks in another classroom next door or down the hall. So, and things go wrong, you know, they, they try to log in and they can't. It's a tremendous undertaking for the teacher and she has to be so patient. It, it's rough. I think they should be paid more. Anyway, this week I said to a second grader, he was doing something on the Chromebook that I didn't know how he was doing. And I said, can you tell me how you're doing that on the Chromebook? So he looks up at me like this and he says I thought old ladies know a lot of things <laughs> so I said well yes but not about computers when when I was a little girl we didn't have computers you know we didn't have cell phones on actually you know we didn't have uh, beepers and we didn't have uh, answering machines um, when you got home at night or in the afternoon from work or from school, that's when people would call you because uh, you weren't home during the day. So and what did this other student, this other student, um, by the way, some of the students that are having trouble reading are super intelligent. Some of them, I think they're geniuses, like maybe they don't have the patience uh, to learn how to read or, or, or their mind is busy thinking of, uh, you know, amazing things. So I told one of them what the other second grader said about, I thought old ladies know a lot. And he said, well, you know, he knows you're old because of your skin. <laughs> and I said, I said, but that's not, that's not the real us. That's our body. The real us is inside our, our thoughts, our feeling, our feelings. That's what's real, the real us. That's what's important. So 
you know, I notice when I say these kind of things to him, he's, you know, he's thinking, he's thinking. So, you know, there's a lot of behavior problems in, in the school, um, in many schools. And I was thinking, I don't remember any behavior problem in my elementary school in Miami Beach and South Beach. And, but they did, they had this enormous paddle on the wall in the principal's office and it was right where the kids could see it like if they came in late they'd have to go in the office and get a pass to go to class things like that and when I say enormous I mean this the size of like a big wooden pizza paddle that you'd use to push the pizza in, into the oven in the pizzeria and it was always there I don't remember anyone getting paddled but I think the fact that it was there and that the parents approved of it, that the kids behaved. Or it might be because, you know, I grew up in a in an ethnic religious neighborhood, so um, I think their parents stressed the importance of being respectful to teachers and education is important so you could be a success in life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And from time to time, not very often, when I did get bullied, it it wasn't from one of the uh, ethnic religious families. It wasn't from them. It, it was from the others. Um, <laughs> the uh, so-called, uh, you know, European white American. So I don't know. It seems that um, immigrants or children of immigrants or even grandchildren of immigrants appreciate being here and and want to behave what else can I say um, things are so different in society now and you can imagine the effect that that has on the kids but uh, I'm having fun this is still a temporary job uh, till the end of the school year sometime in May I don't know I don't know if they're happy with me or not. I told that to uh, the bookkeeper. I said, I don't know if they're happy with me. Nobody says anything. She said, well, I'm happy you're here. Okay, that's nice. So whatever happens, um, I'm having a grand time. So nice to be with the kids and to be busy and to get a paycheck and to have medical insurance besides the Medicare. It's not the greatest insurance. It has an enormous deductible, but, you know, it's something. And it's nice to have a purpose every day. And, and you know, when I'm when I'm at home, I'm just, you know, look, you know, look what I look like. I just wear anything if I'm going to be, you know, raking the yard or something. But, uh, you know, when you're going to school, you want to wear something that... Uh, that the kids will find entertaining. You know, those little girls, they look at everything. Oh, you know, they touch my bracelet and they, they look at my earrings. And, you know, so it, it's really nice. Um, the younger generation needs us. If anybody's home and, and bored and, and you'd like to get a paycheck again, please don't hesitate. By the way, I don't know about other counties, but this particular area I'm in, in Central Florida, um, the thing they need most is bo bus drivers because a lot of people are out uh, because of the pandemic. You know, maybe you know they were near someone who had it, so they have to stay home. Maybe they had a few symptoms, but they actually didn't have COVID, so they have to stay home. So we're really low on staff, and it must be like that in, in all of Florida, maybe in all of the country. So think about these things, and remember there is no retirement in the Bible. Nope.